book? Pickup time was 12.30. We'll get the rest after. Are you hungry? You can lay lunches on me. No. You know, I've always wanted to try McDonald's or Burger King. They don't have that kind of shit back home, you know? Which do you prefer? See another one. Do you mind stopping? I'm really starving. You so were instructed not to eat 12 hours before the operation. Right. Is he waiting for me now? How long have you been working with him? Does that have to be today? What do you mean? I mean, after that happens, I know I won't be able to walk for a while. You having second thoughts about the operation? No, no. <laughs> See, it's my first time here. I just want to take a day to enjoy the things I've heard about, like the food, the city. I even heard that American girls, they love to suck dick, right? <laughs> so it's true. I don't have sex. Oh. It might be a little longer. I haven't used a bathroom since Lagos. Pass me a cigar. Yes, Ms. Kangal, we take your coverage. That's gonna be a copay. But my mother, she should still be covered through her plan, right? Yes, ma'am. That sounds like something you have to take up with your employer. What um, did you just say to me? I'm so sorry, Ms. Kangal. What type of unprofessional? Um, I really didn't mean to. Ma'am. I'm sorry, I have another call. I'm going to try and speak to the voicemail of my supervisor. <laughs> yes, Wait, what? So what? Hi, can I help you? Put a coda on the phone. May I ask who's calling? You were instructed to never ask that no, no, no. question. Hey, not what the line two. Yeah. What? Why? I'm having Keisha email you the info right now. And Monk, let this one be alive this time. Hi. 
Hi, how can I help you today? Hello, I am Justin Grady. Hi, Hi Justin. Hello, I am the treasurer of the local African American Chamber of Commerce, mm -hmm. and we have a new entrepreneurship program. Why don't you leave my card here in case anybody was interested in the program? Thank you, but unfortunately, it's strictly for patient related needs. I understand. It's not a problem. It's I'm right here sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> you don't have to be sorry. Sir, is there anything else that I can help you with today? No. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Can't believe niggas still broke out the COVID, bro. You see these clowns? Getting paid over two thousand a month, right? Just to sit in your ass and not do shit. All these resources to learn new skills, bro. And what's on my feed right now? Global pandemic, and dudes still worried about hoes twerking with masks on. See, this is why niggas is nowhere in life, bro. Just sad. I mean, Sam, you don't have to follow certain people. You don't even got an IG, so you wouldn't understand. Didn't have to see what I had to see growing up either. We live in the same building, though. You from Virginia, though. True. Yeah, boy. Respect the young line on his grind. I'm the one who's gonna get us out the mud. Remember that, all right? Calm down, Simba. I know you got potential. Man, yeah, potential? What you mean? I'm confused. Speak how you really feel, bro. A little DUI suspension has nothing to do with me being an entrepreneur out here. Fam, that wasn't even on my mind. Shit, I know you're not going on me with your broke ass. I ain't broke. You dropped out a decade ago. Still ain't no Zuckerberg. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I don't sweat any of that Silicon Valley corporate bullshit. <laughs> Fuck Mark Zuckerberg, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Boy, you wildin'. <laughs> they need to get that man a Nobel Peace Prize or something. All the money and pussy up niggas get out here. Shit, my Snapchat alone paying your rent. I don't know what you mad at. I'm not mad. I was just playing, fam. Uh-huh. Big salt. <laughs> You don't know the parallel park, bro? It's a tight fit. Let me try to squeeze it. Okay, bro. Pause. Pause. What? You want me to stop? No. No, bro. Just let me do it. What? I, I got this, man. Nah, bro. Just hop out and pay attention. You trash. <laughs> trying to show you something. Oh, just strike me, bro. I swear. Man, that's your whole problem, Mosi. You might be one of the smartest people I know, but if you're not focused, man, it goes nowhere. Shit, if I was a yes man, you'd be worse off than you are now. Trust me. Are you calling me a bum? You've been talking about that medical facilities network for days. You still haven't gotten through. Told you. Mining bitcoins? It's not it right now. Slow money. It did go through. That's what I was checking on my phone and exactly what I'm working on right now. Wait, for real? The uh, the crypto jacking shit? Yep. Oh shit, so you saying she opened up the email? Yeah. <laughs> Told you. Key to anybody's subconscious is mentioning their checking account. That's how I be getting these niggas on Snap. Shit, after a while, Realize I didn't have to use my own cam. I'm on bread for that matter. That's the only way police really be catching niggas out here, you know? Start getting greedy, 
flexing your actual money. Scamming themselves, trying to scam somebody else. Ain't that some shit, right? Hey, um, give me some kilos. What? Man, how you still doubt my decision? You in that joint because of me. And I appreciate that. But we're talking about people's insurance information. Social security. Didn't you say Carter was too hot now anyways? Man, hell no. Nah. I got to pick up tomorrow. You know, you doors out, dummy. <sighs> Any eight or 16 digit numbers I come across, I'll send you away. Hey, you my man, mostly. Always will be. Hey, I'm going uh, to roll a J real quick. Here we go. One, one, two, seven, two thousand. That's a birthday, bro. Oh, sure. Uh, what about a name? Uh, Elsa Muhammad. Hmm. Muhammad. Hey, <laughs> the Muslim thoughts get fed and now, right? Something wrong with you, man. Hey, I'm real, Mo. You nasty, though. Hey, either way, get all that info and transfer to me. Data dump still go for a lot, and that place been in business for like what a year now, so it should be a good amount for my collection. Collection? You sell information now too? Do you listen to me at all, bro? I like to think I do. Nah, you gotta see how I'm trying to take this whole operation to a new level. You see the cash flip shit, thick ass there. Nah, but this file right here. This is about to take us international. Millions of accounts means millions in return. I don't know about you, but I'm trying to live in Miami or some shit. Nah, fuck that. That's that rapper bullshit. Maybe Barcelona. Istanbul, for real. Well, we pan out here, we can get a fat ass crib out on, you know, on a beach in Ghana or the Caribbean. Either way, they their money's wired, we get out this overpriced ghetto. Hold up. What? This thing is almost reading like an escort page. Bro? Height, weight, all that, but in addition to the medical test, it goes into your physical appearance, like for some client to scatter out. You know, height, weight, anal, swallow. All right, man. <laughs> man, I knew that place was a front. I'm probably going to see Elaine Muhammad for sale in a bazaar tomorrow. <laughs> Elaine, you mean Elsa? Whatever the trick name is. Stop. I'm serious. Prostitution on a whole nother level since that whole Me Too shit. You said this is on the bazaar? The same place you want to sell your collection? I thought you were the one who studied the networks and all that. All I know is that the bazaar has every drug imaginable. Ghost guns, explosives, elephant tusks. I think I even saw a section run by a necrophilia right <laughs> Ew, bro. Chill. I didn't watch that shit. It was in the headline. You're the one talking about anal or swallow sexual fetish bullshit. Relax. Ain't that serious? Definitely not that serious. Anyways, I've come across goddamn assassin ads on that site and still have yet to see straight up human trafficking. Huh? <laughs> why, why you say it like that? What do you mean? Acting like your young thirsty ass wasn't getting half me in into the back page here. We're talking about modern day slavery, bro. Man, it's not always a documentary, my guy. The world got demands and, you know, some people got to meet them. Nah, fam, you tripping. My, I ain't tripping. This is what I'm talking about, bro. Getting out your bubble. I think the world operates like those RPGs you play. First of all, that's an RTS. Secondly, there's no excuse. Nobody's talking about excuses. Listen up, I'm being for real now. A lot of these girls got nothing better for them back home. 
And I'm not saying you completely wrong. Like, you know, some dudes definitely smacking these females out here. But shit, as long as they're a grown woman, I don't understand a problem with it. They know what they signed up for. And it's probably better for them on there than the street somewhere or a brothel. Come on now. Medical place definitely a cover up, but you know, it's, it's probably some type of way to make sure, you know, disease don't get spread. Make sure that, you know, females clean. Kind of respect it to be honest. <laughs> Intellect that um, I still can't believe came from my gene pool. And I know her brain has little interest to a demon like you. But hey, you're gonna listen to my story. Our last conversation was an argument. I guess what we argued about. And what was bigger? A galaxy or a filament? That's how smart she is, right? Most big brothers got worried about their sisters twerking for the gram or chicken ass for the fans. Meanwhile, I got Neil deGrasse Tyson. And I'm not gonna lie, I thought the Milky Way was like the entire universe. And, as always, she made me look stupid in front of everybody on Thanksgiving. But, I look a whole lot less stupid than you do right now. Hmm? Mm. Cool. It's just dangerous. she is before I reintroduce you to these flames of hell you came from. She here? Hey, right here. Come on, stay with me. She here?
prefer me to spit some more of that fire. Huh. No, no. Don't worry, don't worry. Huh. Huh. There's plenty more of you going. <laughs> Yo, you good? What time is it? No. Uh, by the way, that app stopped. Damn, I'm after war drive. War drive? Well, it's more like piggybacking, but I have to physically go there to access the Wi Fi to do what I gotta do. But war driving just sounds cooler. You know what I'm saying? There's not a way to do that remotely. Nah. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything. Oh, uh. Toothpaste and kettle chips. Terrible combination. Man, shut up. Get at least two bags, biggest ones. Yeah, get any flavor but salt and vinegar. I, I got it. Don't worry about it. Song. Only occupant is the driver. Any movement? Nah, we should wait. Keep an eye on him. Black pickup. It's Sosa. Hey, move in. Oh! Yeah. No! No, no, shit, shit. You guys make too much noise. You feel me? Elsa, get to my car. Yo. Sam, some crazy shit is going down. Yo, get out of this fine. Just, I just need you to listen to me and calmly do as I say. How many people are there? I, I don't remember. You said some of them are armed? I think I saw a gun. A gun or multiple? I, I'm sorry, bro. I don't want to die, man. All right, relax. I've been in these situations before. It's going to be all right. Just can you see if you can record what's going on? Mostly white. Hey, don't move. Roll the window down. Roll the window all the way down. Look! phone call <laughs> just hang in there <laughs> sorry I, I didn't mean to startle you uh, 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 sorry uh, yeah Sam sorry there's someone else in here with me uh, 
I was just calling to let you know that I'm okay and I'm on my way there and I'll I'll explain everything when I get there. Do you want me to take you to the police or anything? No. Thank you. Are you um Elsa? How do you know my name? Uh um uh, the guy back there um, yelled it out. Uh, that was my older brother. Oh damn. Um very sorry for your loss. I, I can't imagine. I appreciate it. Is there somewhere I can drop you off? Somewhere safe like your parents' house? They're in Colorado. And I'm never going back there ever again. Oh, guess the world's greatest weed doesn't balance out the cold, huh? Christopher was the only family I had on the East Coast. Now the only connection I have is that piece of shit, Dr. Okoda. Dr. who? <laughs> Sorry. You just brought back some memories. Oh. Uh, about what? My roommate and I used to watch Dr. Who all the time in between classes. I kind of miss those times right now. Uh, couldn't have been that long. You look like a freshman. Oh, me? Uh, uh, I turn 30 next year. I majored in computer science at Maryland, but I didn't graduate. Hey, well, comm sci is a hard major. No, it was by choice. I don't need a degree for what I do. Um, what do you do? My friend and I run a bunch of stuff on the internet. Like one of those is um, those ads on PDF conversion sites, paid per click type of thing. And uh, other things like he does uh, social media company type stuff that's apparently doing really well. Uh, sorry, I, I'm all over the place. Well, whatever you do, I have lots of respect for it. You seem very smart, even though you made a dumb decision to rescue me. I mean... WATCH OUT! <laughs> you have nowhere else to go? He confiscated everything when he picked me up. The big guy? Uh, you hungry? I've got ramen. I know it's high in sodium. I can go out and get you something better if you like. Also, the corner store sells clothes. Not the greatest, but I can grab some in the morning. It's okay, really. You're doing a lot. You can get my text? You want to use the bathroom? Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yo, Sam, a brother from another. Uh, uh, listen, I, I got your text. So what the fuck is going on? She has literally nothing, bro. No wallet, no family, no phone identification. So what are you captain? Save a whole now and let me see the video. I'm not joking, Sam. Look, dude. I've done a lot for you, man. Oh, really? Dude, look. I'm with it. The collection, 100%. It's actually a solid plan. A very solid one. That can get us to the next level, like you said. Oh, gosh. I got new encryption software. We need to install and everything going forward. But, yeah, the potential price is worth the risk. My bad if I seemed hesitant. Uh, all good, OG. But just trust me on this one, bro. Please.
Hi there. Hi. Now, um, do you mind stepping outside real quick? I just gotta have a couple words with my man. Uh, yes, sorry. Nah, we don't gotta be sorry, sweetheart. What's your name? Elsa. Elsa. Ah. Uh, he'll be right with you, Elsa. You don't show you low key back. You know that? The girl next door behind. I'm not even trying to go that route. Honestly, I need this on a spiritual level. A spiritual level? Yeah, we sent with the dump and sell. Then, you know, we help a human trafficking victim for repentance. <laughs> Just quit jacking off on the couch. <laughs> Tired of wiping dry nut off the controller. Hey, um, give me your phone. <laughs> oh, and uh, Mosi, keep all this on the low. Yeah, of course. Cool. Bunk? Mm. I'm a failure, Bunk. Failure bunk. Some stands over when you get a chance. For the muscle. I was better off writing fake prescriptions than coming to this fucking place. You know I go on Facebook and see my friends living the life that was promised with an Ivy League degree? Not me though. I patch up whatever walks through that door until there's an actual emergency that requires a hospital. And then... The kind that won't hire me. COVID was a blessing though, right? I mean, fuck a LinkedIn. We're gonna surpass all those assholes. Fuck, I'm going to jail. I will have Elsa in my custody for 36 hours. I tracked the license plates in the abandoned apartment complex. The man who took her is not your average target. Bunk, can I ask you a question? I have a question that you must answer after. Of course. Go ahead. Does God hate me, or am I being punished for hating God? I hear the answer in your own voice, Coco. What do you mean? You want me to say neither. You want me to reassure you that you are holding yourself to a higher standard, but you're not. Truth is, I actually agree with everything that came out of your mouth. You are a failure. You failed in numerous ways. But that doesn't mean you have to go and ask God for something that I am going to handle. You don't understand the mental health issues in my family. No, this is what I get. Hmm? For talking to a chauffeur who makes me a mortician half the damn time. I need all your Wi-Fi information. Keisha left her messages open last night and I discovered one that was an obvious Trojan horse. Get someone down here in the morning and take a look. Meanwhile, our operations being exposed pose an even greater priority. I wouldn't be surprised if all of our woes were connected somehow. What the hell did I help create? I wouldn't say it's like New York, but I'm also the wrong person to ask. Sam's more the type who's in Adams Morgan every other weekend. Adams Morgan? Yeah, it's a place people our age go to, you know, drink, turn up, all that. So why don't you go? 
Me? No. I'm not into the nightlife. You sleep early. Oh, no. Hackers never sleep. But you do have a life at night. You just don't waste it at Adams Morgan. <laughs> Yo, Sam, I thought you crashed. First Thursday night in months. I'm actually in the house and this black Mr. Roller. I'm looking at my fucking thing, my phone, man. You okay? It's hard, but figuring things out. You want a beer? No, I'm okay. Hey, we got some loud too. Mostly should be at a roll by now, right, homie? Mm, maybe later. Cool, cool. Well, Mosey one of the only people I trust in this world, and he seems to be actually concerned about you, so you're his guest. You can sleep anywhere, on the couch, somewhere in his room. <laughs> oh, um, one question. Look, I understand it might be hard for you to think about, but I saw that video on Mosey's phone. That guy who's in the car with you, do you know anything about him? How about we put off talking about that until the morning? I think it's been tough for her. I respect that, but I just gotta know- Sam, come on, man. Bro. Mosey, it's fine. I never met him, just last night. Everything's been through direct messages or texts. See? Not a big deal. Look, I know you haven't had a girl in front of you in years, so I'm gonna let you enjoy your little play there. See y'all in the morning. You guys clash a lot? I'm sure you fight with family. Just how it goes. He's related to you? No, but I've known him for about six years. He's been my best friend. If Sam never got me hip to how you can chart your own path, I'd be a cog in a white collar machine, slogging away my student debt. I see. Sounds like I'm in a household full of two future CEOs. That's more his style. Not really my thing. How so? I mean, I'm not hating. He grew up on the street, so I can see maybe where he gets that whole hustle hard, grind all day mentality. But I don't know. Sometimes it gets a little old. What, like commodity fetishes on becoming a self-identity? Wow, I wouldn't get that <laughs> deep. Sorry, I came all my social science to my senior year. Still kind of in that mold. Well, where do you go to school? Place far, far away where they know how to roll. <laughs> so, Sam. It's just like everything I work on has to be about getting money or boss enough or something else. For example, when I bring up Bitcoin and how it could possibly free us from this evil financial system, he just wants to know how we can flip crypto into more cash. You're an aspiring activist. Nah, I'm no social justice warrior, but the developing world could benefit from a stable, secure, peer-to-peer -peer currency that's not created out of thin air. I mean, fuck the new world order. And Sam doesn't care about the New World Order? Real people are escaping tyrannical governments, corrupt corporations, human trafficking networks. I don't mean a pride, but even you, right? You're probably the victim of some pimp or... Well... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. You earned to least know what I had to do. So I'm left kidney. They go for a lot online. Apparently, I was gonna make 10,000. Wow. Crazy situation, very pretty messed in, right? <laughs> I can understand, actually. Yeah. People have to find a way out of difficult financial situations all the time. Sites on the dark web like the Bazaar can actually alleviate those situations. But even in coronavirus, Sam was scamming one of his 3,000 insecure followers on Snapchat. Well, some people aren't supposed to be rich. Oh, I have ambition. That's not what I said. I just meant that I admire those who rather explore the world and wonder it rather than only exploit it. 
thank you. But in history, the explorers turned out to exploit too. Facts. But see, look at us having this educated conversation you could only get from enrolling at a university. Advantages that were never available to Sam. But the kids in my high school did way more drugs and bad things to him. Yet I bet all of them have condos and cushy jobs, while Sam's entire graduating class either shares a cemetery or a jail cell. Can I say something? I, I hope it doesn't, you know, come off rude. Sure, of course. I see how he acts. Okay, that's him as a person, my socioeconomic demographic. Either try to help him or let him live how he wants to live. But friends should not have to force you to rationalize your relationship. I can see your point. Uh, but maybe it's important to call out my privilege just to check myself sometimes. Buddha. The God or that kind of Buddha? The teacher and philosopher. Wow. Nice. Comes from one of the richest families in ancient India. They reach it all for the life of discipline. To seek enlightenment. That's how you use your privilege. You use it to benefit the universe. If we just deconstruct everything, we'd have nothing to build from. So, are you Buddhist? And not to labels. Oh, okay. <laughs> we saw your last name and thought you were Muslim. Uh, one sec. <coughs> um, so we, um, Elsa, please! Just let me get a word in! Elsa! Look, Mosey, do yourself a favor and get out of this lifestyle. Move back in with the parents if you have to, but you're destined for something more than just... Yeah, I gotta go. It was on purpose. It wasn't an accident that we were in that parking garage at the same time. Yeah... I was getting access to the network and getting things like patient information, but I made sure to be at 9.30 when I saw you'd arrive. Something told me that person was in danger. You're very brave for what you did, and I'm grateful, but I don't need a hero, especially not a criminal, Mosey. That's what I am to you now? I've only known you for three hours. You talked to Sam for 10 minutes and realized what kind of person he is. Am I the same or no? Look. You don't have to answer that. At least just stay here until you can contact someone or get your ID back. If you go ghost after, you'll never have to hear from me again. I need to tell Sam something. The guy who drove me, he goes by the name of Bunk. Bunk, though? <laughs> Names themselves that. You know where he's from? I think he's Nigerian, like a Dakota. One sec. Here we go. I think Bunk is short for Bunkajuku. Apparently, it means one who belongs to God. This is not the week, Keisha. I'm just telling you now, just accept the blame and let's move on with our fucking day. You hear this? 
Can you do me a favor and record this conversation, please? Well, ma'am. Read his report while you're at it. It was your email that had the malware. You. Your fault. And to have the audacity to try to spin this out in front of the computer repair guy? Network administrator. No, 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 no. Speak up. Because he needs to hear this. Because he seems to think he's the only person in this building with an education. You know, before I came here, you had an average administrative assistant turnovers of two months. But I quit? You really think I'm going to get some temp to come in here? And she's going to keep her mouth shut about all the shit that goes on around here? Think about it, y'all. Okay. Do I, do I get a report to you? Oh, okay. Uh, like he said, there was a malware infection and, uh, yeah, caught some people snooping around. The IPs are probably proxies, but I still included it if you want to check for yourself. Have a good day, everyone. I just need a few minutes. You have one. Keisha, wait. You know what, John? This, it didn't have to be like this. What are you talking about? You know, this area could really use a healthcare facility to walk in and not feel chained to debt, especially with the pandemic going on. But if you're not able to get the toys that you want, it can't work, can it? It can't work for Bunk. He's not gonna hurt you. No, I gotta get out of here. You seem to have forgotten the measures we take to keep them from escaping. The donors! Not our staff, you fucking sociopath! Mr. Stanislavski left a very upset voicemail given the delay of the surgery. Speaking with a surgeon would probably put his mind at ease, but you're obviously in no shape to be the face of our business right now. If you think I'll ever stitch you up, or inject another steroid inside of you, 
you might as well kill me now. I know you all too well to believe that, Dr. Okoda. I mean it. You don't have to believe me. Every time I see her, I can still see myself walking into the NIH campus. And then I see you, and I'm reminded of the hand I was dealt. Bunk? Bunk! Bunk at your goal! Your imagination of all these women loving you, it's hurting our business. Now you can put her blood on my hands this time, but the fantasy ends now. Can we agree? <laughs> this stage of our partnership. <laughs> I learned you really only need your left hand. Yo, let's talk. Come on. Yo, I need you to do me a favor today. Sorry if I said too much last night. No, nah, I'm not worried about that right now. So I'm about to have my team meet me on Germantown instead. So I'm probably about to head out there in a little bit. All right, let me just grab something and get ready. Nah, just me. You think it's smart to take an Uber? I never take a risk that stupid. I know you hate the Metro. I need the keys. Grab some food, G. All right, just don't get pulled over. Boy. <laughs> nah, but um, trying to find more out about her. I know what that means coming from you. Nah, I'm serious. I think she into you, so you never know, bro. All right, man. Hey, Mo say, you about to get some pussy. <laughs> I can't trust no soul, no, I can't trust no soul. We've been through picking roles, these niggas be switching roles. Put all these bitches on hold, gotta let these facts for ball. I can't trust no soul, can't even trust my own. Been nipping through the pack, cause this drink's done to me cold. When my machine is tight, tryna make it tough no more. They all do it, all this 40 gone, it's your dome. I can't trust no soul, no, I can't. Watching. Oh, it's just a tutorial. Don't want to bore you. Patrolling what? How to form a cryptocurrency mining pool. Like Bitcoin mining? Sort of, but this one focuses on an altcoin called Dash. Dash? Hmm. That's a cool name. Yeah. And see, this is how multiple people over a shared network can use their processing power to mine Dash. And then they split the profits amongst themselves. It's pretty cool. Well, Mr. Mosey. Collins. 
Well, Mr. Mosey Collins, you nurse up the education. Go, Mosey. <laughs> you hungry? I'm good. Smoke? See you nurse later. Okay, um, I can put something else on. Sam has everything that's come out recently on his hard drive. Come sit next to me. I don't know how I'm mixed up my brother alive. Oh, sorry Stop about that. Stop apologizing. My bad. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> and to answer your question from last night, no. I don't think you're anything like Sam. In fact, I think you're convicted, courageous, and very sweet. Well, I didn't know you hated Sam like that. And you're so loyal. That's the most rare quality I find in you. I'll say. Hey, you know, brothers gotta do what brothers gotta do. I hope he feels the same. He does. Sorry. <laughs> what did I say earlier? Right. Um, Just don't say anything. Pepper's on shape, huh? Not this one. Why didn't you kill me? I tried to stab you. Direct thrust to the side oblique. You modified me. You know, that wouldn't even bleed. Well, a green Nissan, you said? Park the seat in the dorms. Actually, uh, high school. That means something, you know. Uh, yeah, it means for all the JavaScript I knew, I couldn't convince one of y'all to give me a chance. Trust me, having game is an overrated quality. I watched my friend get heartbroken too many times. You must have been close. Yeah, I miss her. There's something I haven't told you yet. Do you know how coronavirus has been tied with organ failures? I know that we're in a pandemic that's killed hundreds of thousands of people. But at some point I stopped following the news because I figured my fate was sealed regardless. Well, some people take it into their own hands. Particularly people who have a lot of money and who are in need of a new kidney or lung. You're still a lung and a kidney? No, <laughs> just a kidney, oh my god. And I'm writing an article about it. Like a blog? Like a blog. No, like internationally recognized newspaper. Oh. They go for a lot, apparently. I was gonna make 10,000. Wow. Wait a minute. What? Was somebody supposed to, like, come get you before they cut it out? No, of course not. <laughs> Better be on the front page if you're going to lose a kidney. Hey, I'll still be able to pee. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess you'd be $10,000 richer? How'd you get involved in this? 
My roommate and best friend were from Kenya. All of a sudden, Helen dropped out of school and went missing for months. And wow. I'm sorry. Damn it, I forgot. Kitty. I love that you care. She said she met her boyfriend at a club in DC. And he was a diplomat's son. And that he knew Diddy's nephew from New York. And that he was one of some new models. I knew it was a scam, but I didn't want to talk to Archie God until I read those emails from that fucking creep. The boyfriend? No, Dr. Coda. I didn't realize that Oregon gender mattered, but he seemed to target women, especially immigrants. Probably views them as weaker. No, not only that, but he thinks anyone that finds him attractive is his new lover. Grown man with a child is crushed. What's that? No, try obsession. He told Helen he would triple her pay if he, or if she broke up with her boyfriend. Then he started sending her these strange poems and extreme pornographic videos. Where was the boyfriend amidst all this? He didn't even care what a clerk did once his check clerked. Mark my words, I'm exposing both of them. You're one of the strongest people I've ever met. And that doesn't intimidate you. It makes me unable to let go of you hear that? What? Sam's here. So? We're... I almost, you know... Who cares? Come help me out. <laughs> Sheesh. Sam could have to wait with the wall. Thought she had to be more into shopping online. We do, in other kinds of ways. Like what? Tell me. How about no, officer? I'm a journalist, not a cop. Well, we don't want to end up in jail for an article, and one by a great journalist will lead to both. Jail, though? You guys are buying all that reckless stuff off that site you're talking about, huh? I like doing all types of reckless stuff. What's it called again? The Bazaar. You can only access it on an encrypted browser. So I just go to bazaar.com? Not tour, and <laughs> no, you can't. Tell me. I want the whole process. Why? Do you want a pet albino squirrel monkey or something? I like my very exotic pet right here just fine. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> All right. Yo. Oh, shit. He's been working on it for a long time, apparently. And you don't get work. Be careful. He better be. Yeah, hop in the Mazi, I crash. Hey, crash. 200 miles on the dash. Hey, enter the crib and I pick it like hey, a little bit of a dash. Uppercut. You can get hit with the uppercut. No, you cannot hang with none of us. us. You was a lane, you ain't one, you of, ain't us. one of us. Spanish Latina, she told in the Nina, so now I got another extra beam. She gave me pretty good so arms, bro. Legs. I am pretty to a hand. Hey, is that a flip or is that a flip, boy? Peek this. And I posted on a block. Look at y'all. Hey, we going to Astro Lounge tonight. My treat. So, you know how we get down to DMV. This is my only pair of clothes. I'm nowhere near ready for a club. Yeah, man. You want to kick back and watch a movie? She hasn't seen Frozen 1 or 2. Man, fuck all that. Here. <clears throat> get shorty something to wear. Man, you be forgetting I got my own money. Nigga says, fuck Mark Zuckerberg. And 24 hours later, you're all about getting money. I wonder what happened. <sighs> I'm just fucking with you, bro. Hey, um, let's pregame and bounce. I know this thrift shop around the corner we can hit up first. You want to go? I actually kind of do. Yeah. Can I send a couple emails first? Let's just put them on, okay? Of course. 
and I'll make sure you're safe when we go out. That'll be my job. Here's the shots you want. Sorry.
Damn. Motherfucker out here robbing doctors and nurses, but want to say I'm ruining legit business. I lost his damn mind. Hey, I don't do what your bitch ass does. Mosi, you can call me a lot of things, but you're gonna have to apologize for that bitch word right now. Not even my pops gonna call me that. I ain't apologizing for shit. Mosi, I get it. You mad, but you don't understand what that word means where I come from, all right? I don't give a shit where you from or what you got to say. You always going on about your problems, your moves, your knowledge. Your life is just so much more deeper than whatever I go through, huh? You know everything. Mosey's just a pussy little beta that can penetrate any firewall that Sam needs. He don't know shit though, right? Fuck type shit you on right now. You know damn well what I'm speaking on right now. Mosey, relax, you're drunk. Nope, I'm sober. One shot, bitch. Mosey? I'm not playing. Sam! You right though, bro. Not even your pops will call you. Mosey! Because nobody knows who that nigga is. That's what this whole shit is about, isn't it? Sam! Man, fuck you! Sam! You are such an asshole, you know that? I've never seen someone be that mean to a human being in my life! I don't know, I was just going off what you said about- I should have told you anything! I need your phone. Elsa! You know what, forget it. Ask someone aside. Come on! Here. Where are you going? Private conversation. I'll be a minute. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. I expect you to answer them truthfully to the best of your ability. Now, I want you to know I've been doing this for a very long time, so I know all the tells of a lie. This is your only warning. Understand? Now, the IP that you used to get into my employer server originated in the American Samoa. It's a fucking proxy. Well, not just any proxy. As the two out of three of us in this room both know. Turns out our friends down the block also use the same proxy. Specifically, Nebraska Avenue. What the hell is he talking about, bro? Sam, I have no fucking idea. All I did was plant the script, and then the keylogger, when you asked me, that's it. I don't know what IP address I... Use? I'm not a fucking fed, bro. This dude's information is tripping. Well, several different individuals have been snooping around our Wi-Fi, so I can't call you 
a bold-faced liar yet. But just know that I have information on you that your friend here may not know. So it's up to you how much gets revealed and how harder things can get. Sam, I have no fucking idea. All I did was send a link. I was just trying to hijack their resources to mine a cryptocurrency. I don't work with anyone else but you. I have no fucking clue what this dude is talking about. Please believe me. What did you do with Elsa? Hey, that was crazy. <coughs> so man. Fucking damn. Sam, you're my best friend. Man, shut your dumb ass up. I'll shoot my own damn self while I'm friends with a fucking rat. Sam, I, I'm, I'm not a snitch, I swear. <laughs> I remember that day. The day we designed this place. Man, shut up! We always promised to call the lab. Because work would only go on in there. Mostly. Mostly I'm not playing hands with you. God damn it! Sam, I would never betray you. You're the only family I have. I haven't spoken to my parents or my sister in two years. How come you won't believe me? Don't do your family like that, Mosi. You're lucky to have a support system like that. I had no right to talk to you like that earlier. You sure as hell did it. I feel terrible, bro. I do. Believe me. How we met always cracks me up. <laughs> Man, that's on my mind every other day. It's a miracle how my introverted ass even ended up at that frat party the whole two years <laughs> I was at Maryland. And right there, Slinging Molly and flip flops to college kids <laughs> was my future business partner. They wanted to know me so bad. Asking all types of weird angle questions about their favorite rapper while I gave him pills. Like this is a chance to interview some specimen from the local hood or something. Turns out the local hood specimen was also a fellow anime head. <laughs> Man. When you showed me how you organized that whole College Park drug market into a freaking app, man, I knew this nerd was the most talented man on campus, man. Forget the professors you had. Man, that was easy. Shit. That money was easy. I miss those days sometimes. No, you don't. Oh, you're speaking for me now. Just looking out for you, Simba. What I got. How do you know? Clean um, slate. Now you making real moves, King. Man, how your goofy bitch ass gonna start quoting my IG now? Hey, careful with that bitch word though. <laughs> Sam. 
I'm just saying you don't always have to post about your hypothetical future, my friend. Oh, speaking of future, you worried about your new girl? Oh shit. I gotta find out what happened to Elsa. Yeah. <clears throat> you think she's the one? If it's not her, it's nobody. You know this from one day. You can find out everything you didn't know about someone in far less time. Can't argue with that. He shot you five times at close range. How are you still alive? <clears throat> Your friend was right, by the way. I have never made such an amateur mistake in all my years. Sam deserved victory. However, I had way too many advantages, if I'm being honest. Your job was to transport Elsa? What did you do with her? Where is she? I'm sure your handlers will tell you before I do. Let me address this ridiculous theory you have in your head. I don't know if it's your lack of understanding how relay servers work, or you just have a super paranoid boss. I'm not under the employment of any law enforcement agency. Did you hurt her? Downtown Silver Spring, at the corner of Georgia Avenue and East West. Meet me here in 15. Jesus, Elsa. Farmer, just thankful you're safe. An agent will be by to pick you up and bring you to HQ. Tactical raided a code of spot this afternoon. Yes! We found remains of the yeah. old secretary on the premises and some more evidence leading to Helen. We'll hand the whole thing off to the FBI in the morning. This is some fucked up shit. You don't believe how much initial I got. And get this. I shock up in this household with these two geeks who are on the verge of the largest national data breach in five years. Wow. Yeah, I think an agent dropped me off down there. Elsa, the key thing here is that you're safe. I'm safe. Now, I... You should return to school on Monday. No, Frank! This operation was a mistake. 
but we got him. Forensics is here digging up dozens of stories just like Helen's. She was my friend. You would never find out about the code if it wasn't for me. Elsa. My job was to deliver justice for her. And justice was delivered. What's the status on this guy, Pungachu? Does he know we got him mm. on lockdown? Elsa. Yeah, yeah. I heard him on the phone. He spooked. That's why he didn't touch me. <laughs> Don't trip too much over this one. You have a position secured in the State Department after graduation. Thank you, sir. And give me a name for the data breach assholes. Electronic uh, crimes has been fiending for a new case. Mm. Sam. Sam Kinney. K-I-N-N-E-Y. Alright, locked in. Take care and get some rest. Okay. I'll be on standby. If it makes you feel any better, I didn't intend for either of you to die. My nature is just to respond to whatever the universe puts in front of me. You would kill me if you could. And I wouldn't blame you. Fuck out of here. Your nature's only to destroy. That's it. What do you want me to do? Usually when there's a crime, we go to the police. By the river sparkling bright In the city of delight You're better than this, Laura. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> hey. Dakota seems to have better luck with the ladies of this world than I ever did. <laughs> hey, Ramirez. Ramirez.
check their IDs. They're both federal agents. This will be a national headline by the morning. It's important we get as far away from this situation as possible. Take a BWI patrol on the first plane out to Lagos. I won't tell you where I'm going, but in a couple of months, I'll find a secure channel. And you know, after we get a grip on the situation. I'm staying, Bunk. Why? My mother used to sing that song every Saturday when she would clean the house. I used to hate it. I wish I was playing soccer instead. But now it's it's the only thing keeping me on the path of righteousness. The authorities may not have divine orders, but they will bear witness. They will bear witness. Bear witness to what? It doesn't matter. You know what you have to do. Meet me there. Meet me
<gasps> Mosey! What are you doing here? Are you all right? They say don't let a hacker sell your phone. Now selling a hacker's phone, that's asking for all types of trouble. <laughs> I read about you in the paper. Oh. It wasn't written by you though. I hope you know I meant everything I said about you. You are indeed a very intelligent and sweet person. However, I had a mission and nothing was gonna stop me. How was Sam a part of your mission? Mosey, look, I... I didn't know, okay? He destroyed that hard drive that night, by the way. I am... I'm glad he made the right decision. After a life full of wrong ones. How have you been? Did you get my gift? I did. Did you get it from Sam's collection? <laughs> no, it was some rich douchebag's platinum card. Nobody noticed. Hmm. Well, I spent it all. You... You spent all $50,000 in six months. One day, actually. <laughs> when did you get a mortgage in a house or something? Nah, the place did that. What? Yep. All $50,000? Yes, converts to 700 and dash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just never took you for a gambler. Your intuitions are correct. It was my first time. <laughs> okay, well, now I have to know what it was. So, do you recall that website Sam and I used to frequent? Yes, I wrote a whole white paper in Bazaar for the Anti-Terrorism Advisory Council. <laughs> One section has gotten very popular recently, especially after those raids you helped coordinate. Mosey, the site has been shut down since October. <laughs> Turns out that your birthday is the top prediction for your last day on Earth as well. Mosey, what are you talking about? You only have to make it eight more hours. Mosey, tell me! chase you. The second I called you, I knew what the outcome would be regardless. 
It's too perfect a plan for me not to be the suspect. Most importantly, you don't get arrested. Was watching her die worth the ceiling your own fate? I only ask that you allow my family to get 70% of the winnings. You've more than earned your share. That's fair. Can you take me to see them before we do this? They're not far from here. It'll be brief. Thank you.